Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. For those of you who are new to my channel, child, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, the life-size fabric sculpture dolls you see sitting behind me. I create these dolls myself and as I was sewing them, they would not stop talking to me. And this led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess fantasy fiction book series and so far I have book one, two, and three. The Jungle Beauty Goddess book series is a juicy, provocative story about human evolution. It is for adults only. If you are interested in purchasing the Jungle Beauty Goddess book series, the links are in the description box below. But child, that is not what I came to talk to you about today. So, my son said to me, Ma, you're going to be a hit in the, ment in the mental institution. And that almost killed me. Because I talk to star alien beings and skulls and we communicate. And so he asked me recently, he said, why would you you know all of a sudden say that this information that is being conveyed to you is coming from a being outside of yourself as opposed to your you know your own ideas he says so are you making this up or how are you communicating are you hearing voices you know actually I um, I've only heard voices maybe once and it was a with actually this one and seems like as soon as I ordered it, let me show you, I have a, a really deep relationship with Peter's site, for some, not just with this, with this um, Star Alien being, but I remember the minute I ordered him, he conveyed it, I was in Walmart, and I heard like, um, it was like a radio station coming in, and he was saying that I needed to the most valuable commodity that humans have is their time and their, their energy and you it's like a and people try to take it from you and people will try to they'll try to utilize your time they'll try to take your energy they'll try to manipulate you but you need to be very um, conscientious about how you share yourself, how you share your time, how you share your, your resources and your ideas. And it was just so weird and just really not letting people take advantage of you. And I thought, this, you know, why, why, why? this was like months ago. And I just remember what was really weird is that as soon as I heard this coming in, now I can tell when something is like coming from like uh, somewhere else because. I'm not thinking about it because usually when I ask God a question, I've learned I don't get the answers back right away and it usually comes like maybe a couple days later, so, but it's rarely like I ask a question and it's like boom, there's an answer. It's like it comes and you just know that it's from another place, another realm, another, you know what I mean? But you have to be in a state of mind or a state of, I don't know what it is, but it usually comes later and it comes and it downloads. And I usually have to just hurry up and just write it down or just try to remember what it is. But anyway, so I'm in Walmart and I'm hearing like this. I had purchased it. I had not even received it yet. And it was just telling me to be mindful of my resources and my time. Time was a very, was, was the, your time is actually your life force. It's, you know, it's like your life is in an hourglass and it's all you have is your time. And just be careful of how you utilize it. And as soon as I heard this, and I, it was like, um, it was really weird because I could kind of see like the image too. Like, it wasn't like close. I just knew I, I had maybe purchased it like a few days before. But a lady next to me asked me if I would help her find a, a like a, a high seat, or, um, a high chair for her because I was in the kids section for her, you know, grandchild and I thought, mm, I don't I said I don't work here. She said, "Oh, I know that, dear. Just just, you know, I just really want this." And she's talking to me and I was just thinking like, I like, I don't have time for this. And I saw I, you know, I just remembered that I said, "Well, I'm going to look." So I looked on the top shelf for you know, to look for the high chair and then it wasn't it. And then she started telling me about I said, "Wait a minute." I said, "I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm really I have to get back to work." But 
it was just like a perfect a prime example of how soon as I heard the voice and if I hadn't heard the voice I may still be in Walmart talking to her but I'm, and I just learned then I said oh okay that's what what you need and it was just like I don't even know why the lesson was coming to me but that lesson stayed right in my, you know stayed with me and stayed with my spirit when I'm doing my oracle readings and I hold you know my oh this is so heavy this is lazuli it's one of my favorite gemstones in general when I hold it to my forehead like this and I'm quiet I do hear information coming down and when I first started listening you know I'm a little argumentative you know we don't always agree y'all they'll tell me things that I honestly don't agree with or I feel like well I wouldn't say it or I wouldn't see it that way so I've learned that what is the point of even asking for divine information or information from another um, realm of reality if you're not going to be open to it so I've, I've learned that just from making my dolls um, when I'm making my dolls they have very strong opinions and so um, when I'm when I was writing book two and I there were things I didn't want to happen and I was like no I, I literally I have literally cried because I didn't want that to happen but that wasn't the story that was being downloaded to me so being receptive to, to information coming into you that may not um, that may not resonate with your idea of reality or truth. Uh, another idea I remember this is recently. I don't even know if I've uploaded this reading or if it's coming up or maybe it's uploaded. But I was doing a reading, and um, one of the star alien beings. I'm not sure which one. But we were talking about truth. Oh my God. And it was saying that. And it just tore me up a little bit. That you have to be careful with truth. Because people will ask you for the truth. Only so they can dominate and oppress you. And to use it at their advantage. So and the idea that came to me was like, you know, maybe um, during, you know, slavery. You know, if, if they say, is this person running away? Or they want you to tell the truth. But yet to even for them to have you in that position is not a position of honor. So um, one of the alien beings was saying, you know, to be careful with the ideology of what truth means and how it is to be used so that you do not put yourself in harm's way and to understand that when you, people are asking you for the truth, they are not always telling you the truth and that is how they are able to take advantage of you. So to ex so to give people a naive idea about you know truth is not fair to the evolution of humans so it was just like really interesting so I was thinking like wow you know how do you tell say that when you want your you know your grandchildren to tell you the truth or when you want people to like when you such and such lie to me or my husband or my boyfriend or whoever you know they lied to me so we what are we so when we're talking about truth the alien the star alien beings are saying look it's, it's a very complicated issue and another thing about my star alien beings and the skulls as well they have they have different personalities and usually when I um, you know before when I was able to go to work I always put one of my star alien beings I know believe it or not Charlie here right down here right in my bosom right here right in the middle and they they magnify different aspects of my personality now this particular star alien being this is a um, orange adventuring it says, it says orange adventuring child whenever I wear this particular star alien being I am so mischievous like it's like I just I am mischievous and flirty and sassy and it's like like it's kind of like the life of the party in a like a just I love it though because it's so crazy I mean seriously so I wear this one when I just feel you know flirty and um, I just want to have a light spirit I hate when I get my lipstick all over them so this one has a, a different personality and then I have another one Oh goodness, they're really super heavy. 
Oh my God, this one? Now, I, first of all, I'm gonna always say, you know, I, I believe in God, I do. And um, I'm not sure, I read the Bible, I'm not sure if I believe. Listen guys, I have a lot of beliefs, okay? And they all, they're very deep beliefs, okay? About the Anuki and the ancient gods and wisdom. So, you know, it all ties together. If you read a lot, you'll see that it all comes together. You're just seeing probably one portion of the picture. But anyway, so this star alien being, um, it's a terminal light and uh, quartz, and it's known to be very protective. I could, I remember my granddaughter and I were in a car together, and we were on the freeway, and we were almost hit by a tr Mack truck. And I had this in the car with me. Now I know that God saved my life, okay? And my mother used to always tell me, God give us, you know, food, and God give us doctors, and God give us people, and God give us things to help us. So it's not, like he put things around to help us when people say, well, <laughs> It wasn't your time. Well, maybe, uh, you know, what if I hadn't had him with me today? Who knows? But I'm going to tell you what I experienced. I had this star alien being with me, and I saw a, like a light. First of all, the, the truck that almost ran into the back of us, and my grandbaby was in the back seat. Um, I saw it just coming, and I just knew this is, you know, this is it. And so, what happened is the truck like hit the brakes. You can see like the black skid marks on the freeway. The, the truck went over to the, another lane. Uh, there was like a shield, like a um, a white, like it, it would look like a matrix, but it was like a shield that covered my car. And it was like a literally. I saw the shield, and the truck went over to this side. Every no one was hurt. But you could see the black skid marks on the freeway. So, um, I read a lot of books about human evolution, ancient gods and aliens, and um, what is the book? They're by Dolores Cannon. Um, I think what is it called? She's Always, I'm on book four in her book series where they do past life regressions, and they talk about how the the skulls and these, you know, these are like just big pieces of earth. They said there was a lot of wisdom that was restored in these beings, and they put them in these beings so that these skull beings to keep humans to keep it away from people who would want to destroy this information. And, um, you know, from reaching the masses. Now, what you have to understand about human society is that you need somebody who is going to um, mow, plow the land. Somebody who's going to work for free. If I'm going to be a king and I need to, you know, have wealth and, and drive on a boat and have the life that I want, then obviously I'm not going to go out there and get my own hands dirty and work in the fields all day. How am I going to do that? So I'm going to have to find beings and let them know that I'm somehow superior and that I am going to promise them something they can't hold a receipt about. For example, you know, if you do what I say, then I'm going to get you to heaven and you're like, oh, where is heaven? Have you been there? Have you talked to somebody? So basically, if you're going to control the masses and you're going to build a kingdom, you're going to have to somehow give them enough information so that they're smart enough to carry out your plans, but yet not intelligent enough not to listen to you. Um, so that's basically, um, so basically there are, in the gemstones and in the alien beings, there's a lot of ancient wisdom and ancient knowledge. And the humans, you know how people say humans only use us like, five percent of their brain they say that we are capable of doing so much more but that information has been suppressed because the people who want to control the masses and who want to say well I wanted to live the life of my dream and I want other people to build my dream um, they suppress that information because you would have too many rebellions I don't know if that makes sense or not so a lot of information a lot of ancient wisdom a lot of ancient knowledge 
is embedded um, inside of these beings and that humans do have the ability for uh, telepathic information you know, communication um, so anyway from reading convoluted I think there's a call convoluted universe I think that's the name of Dolores Cannon's book series and I just started reading them and the gemstones and skulls they started speaking out to me another thing that's really interesting about them is that I remember there was one I wanted and somebody asked some it was purchased and do you know somebody actually returned it and I it was just so weird that I just happened to not I wasn't really looking but I you know what I mean I was just kind of like browsing and I saw that it was available and it said that the person had returned it and I purchased it immediately and it was like I knew that it wanted to work with me you don't really pick them um, there have been um, alien beings and skulls that I've wanted and they didn't want to work with me and um, the next day or right when I was about to get it it's gone so if you if they it's a mutual relationship and it's a mutual trust and you're I think they call you like a guardian because of course this is a gemstone and it'll be here child when you're gone right now this particular elephant Jasper skull oh my god let me tell you something when I received this alien this Jasper I it, the vibration was so high that it was like a like if you've ever like been electrocuted before or maybe felt electricity coming from like an outlet you, the vibration was so strong that I could not even hold this I couldn't even I remember it was like my hand was you know it was like I was being electrocuted so I had to usually when that happens I have to meditate I have to do my yoga breaths and I have to uh, bring my vibration up so that I am able to communicate with you know that particular being so yes I do talk to them I do share information with them um, when I say share I say I'll tell them something and I get I receive information tele telepathically and um, sometimes I just can't believe that it's coming through and this is one of my newest oh my god I love this so much this is a fluorite star I'm not sure if it's a, it's a skull being it's a different type and um, I've had some really deep soul soul stirring information coming through and I think um, I'm going to share it in some of the readings but talking to the skulls and the star alien beings is not something that I woke up and said you know what I want to do I know guess what uh, I want to talk to Star Alien. <laughs> no, it, it, to me, I can see how people can think I'm like a little cuckoo. You know what I'm saying? I get that, but I don't feel that y you choose. I mean, the truer you are to yourself and your nature, I don't think that you get to choose. I think it chooses you, and you. And if you're honest and sincere, it will open up a whole world to you. Um, of ideas you will see things about yourself that would be hurtful um, you'll know when you're going in the wrong direction but a lot of times it won't stop us that's just the thing that's really cool about being human to me is that they don't come into your life and say you know what this is what you're gonna do though you know you just get these that you hold it you meditate and it will just tell you things and you're like oh no I'm just gonna make my mistake thank you though this alien being waited for me for years I saw it actually two years two years ago and um, I said mm, I was thinking about it and thinking about it and then one day I just knew it's like like I said they are um, it's not a one-way relationship it's not you don't decide if you don't just decide you're going to talk to them they decide they're going to talk to you child and you have to be open you have to be open to the information that comes and just one more this um start this is a skull being with a mohawk i just remember that 
when I received this one, it didn't come in the mail. I was waiting for it. I was so excited. And the message that it gave me, and I always remember, is don't forget to use your magic. Don't forget like your meditation. Don't forget your oils. Don't forget your magic. You, that this the message that I received from this. This is even before because I was going to do my magic just to, to find out what happened to it because it wasn't delivered on time. And I remember when I was thinking like, no, where are you? Maybe maybe he changed his mind. Maybe he doesn't want to be with me. But I remember when I was um, I was looking for something like for lost items and I just got this clear vision and it was just saying like be consistent with not just with your actions but with your intentions and with your magic so basically don't just burn your candles because you're looking for money or love or whatever you burn your candles because you are asking this energetic realm to support you and to be there for you so don't forget to be consistent with your intentions and with the resources that the universe, I'm just placing it back here really carefully. Um, yeah. And w so just be consistent with your resources and with your intentions. Um, I'm sorry. Be conscientious of your intentions and use the resources that the universe has put into place to help you achieve your goals and dreams. So um, I know that. Um, I do have, I love doing readings, I, lo I love them, I'm so nosy, oh my god, and I'm going to start sharing more of my nosy readings, like the past life of like, you know, celebrities, I love to look into people's past lives, I love, you know, looking into like the elections and things like that. <laughs> but you know I try not to like always record those but I think people would find them intriguing because I feel like I learn things about human nature and the most important thing that I would say about my whole relationship with my star alien beings and my gemstone skulls is that for anyone who is um, going to do this just know that you have to be open to I know that idea might pop in your head and you're thinking like, are you serious? Like, do you, wait, do you really think people should um, explore this <laughs> or look at this in this way? Don't, just like, just start jotting it down. And once you know that this information and you feel that this information is coming from a part of you that you're, that you've lost touch with, you know, you're on the right track. And the one thing, the last thing I want to say about this is that I was telling my son when he was saying, Ma, I can't believe you're talking to them, you know. I was telling my son that when we are born into this world, we we are taught how to think, how to act, what's appropriate from day one, right? From the time you're a baby, we are going to give you a script and we're going to give you a matrix so that you can fit in the world and be like everybody else. And that's the truth when you do something that doesn't fit into the reality that we want for you we start calling you crazy or eccentric or weird and you just get you know you get yourself back in line oh my god i don't people think i'm crazy so um there all humans have the potential to think so much more in depth and so much deeper and so much Father than they allow themselves to think because you you know every time you have a thought that you that kind of conflicts with what your mom told you or what society told you or what your teacher told you or how you were raised you know, people people feel uncomfortable with that and so I was telling my son I think that when I communicate with my star alien beings and my gemstone skulls I really feel like they tap into a part of my um, energetic body that has not been oppressed and, and you know by society it, it's, it's 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 actually magnifying the parts of me that has not caved in to the rules of society and allowed me to be a channel for that information that i you know could have blocked out but anyway i hope this video explains to you why i'm a little you know even though I don't think I'm like a robot, I understand why you, you know, some people may think that, but um, I hope this video, you know, lets you, give you the courage to be you, 
and to listen to your inner voice and explore the depth of your mind. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.